Hi, everybody. We're today we're finally hopefully going to answer this question that we had from the very beginning of the unit where we had these two heating systems from the school and which one would heat the school better. And it's tough because each one of these systems has more of something. The small tank has more temperature. It's it's higher. The 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 large tank is at a lower temperature but it's got more mass it's got more stuff and we know both of those affect the amount of heat we get out of them so what we want to do today is answer this and it's important to note that the school buildings are the same size in each of these so we're heating up an equal amount of space so at any rate let me uh try and explain what we're going to do because this is wordy in here and it's a little bit hard to follow and it's really not bad so at any rate in both these systems, you're going to be using the Amplify Lab. And to start out with, we're going to have the large sample is going to represent the school. So this is the school building. And it's going to be an 11.4 degrees Celsius, which would be cooler than we would want a school building. Okay? We're going to mix with that a small sample at 38.6 degrees. So we're gonna go back here, we're gonna go small, and that's gonna be at 36.38.6 degrees. We're gonna mix them, and this right here is the water tank. This is the amount of water we have, and it's at 38.6 degrees. You'll mix them, and that is the number that will go right here. That's an equilibrium temperature means the mixed temperature. So basically, that is how warm this will make the school. For the second one, now we're trying to model the second school. And we're going to go ahead and I'll rebuild this. Once again, the schools are the same size and same temperature. So I'm going to select a large. I'm going to cool it to 11.4. This now represents the school building. This one is going to represent the is going to represent the heating system. And this heating system, now we have, or excuse me, this is a large sample, and this is at 29.5 degrees. 29.5 degrees. So I've got to come here. I've got to pick a large sample. And I got to move it up to 29.5. Now I'm going to mix them and I'm going to let them hit equilibrium. And I'm going to write that right there. So what this is simulating is both times, oh, sorry. Both times we have the same size building that's that large container at 20, at 11.4 degrees Celsius. And so we're going to put that in. And then this small sample is going to be a small sample. We're going to set it to 38.6. That's going to be the large sample. We'll set it to 29.5. And you'll just see which of those would be more effective at heating the school at those temperatures. Okay? And when you are done with that, you can just go ahead and, um, and answer the, the two questions, which are pretty straightforward. Okay? Um, thanks for watching.